booze and liquor, because you are the great people of the new world. And I come bearing this from the old world. Yeah. Yeah. Gather round, friends and foes alike, for you are the brave people of the new world. And I come bearing gifts from the old world. I bring you food and wine. But most importantly, I bring you the story of a people, from potatoes to the stars. For it is I, John the Blind, born in the year 1296 son of the Roman Emperor of Germany and King of Bohemia by marriage. I was a king, yes, but first and foremost, I was a knight, fighting for the freedom of my people from our many oppressors. But alas, amidst my crusades across Lithuania, I lost my vision due to an affliction of the eye. Nevertheless, I persisted, for nothing, not even eternal darkness, would stop me from fighting for our people. <laughs> my goodness, what, what is that delicious smell? Ah, yes. The potatoes of my people. <laughs> we're in the midst of a story, were we not? Oh, yes. In the year 1443, just a few short years or so after my death, and a great battle in France, might I add, it was Philip the Good of Burgundy who robbed us of our independence. And might I say, how rude it is that his title gets to be the good while I am stuck with the blind. I hereby denote him to Philip the Mediocre. <laughs> Thanks to our good friend, Sir Philip the Mediocre, my good people were tossed around by foreign oppressors like a hot potato left and right for centuries. First from the Germans to the Spanish to the French and back to the Germans again. It was utter madness. From this came our national motto. We want to remain what we are. That's it. No fancy proclamations of liberty or justice or religion. We simply wanted to be left alone as we were. And then suddenly, it happened. In 1839, the Treaty of London gave us our full independence. And we became free to be what we were, in the sense that you modern Americans would call very awesome. And it was very awesome indeed. We became potato farmers. To put food in our bellies, delicious food, might I add and coin in our pockets. For day and night we harvested the earth for our precious crop. But alas, not all crises can be averted and a great famine struck our people. We were left scrounging for scraps and turned to other alternative resources. In the earth we found iron ore and coal. From these scraps of metal we built railroads to take us far. From the coal we fueled furnaces to keep us warm. For 30 glorious years, we prospered off of the steel and coal industry. I remember it very fondly and very well. <laughs> well, wait, I was dead, so no, I doubt. <laughs> but I've heard many a great thing. However, like all of the best fads and fashions, such as leg warmers and Taylor Swift, all things have an expiration date, and ours came in the year 1973, with the dwindling industry of steel. We were left without a resource again, and so we turned to what was then the modern banking industry in the decade of our Lord and Madonna, the 80s. <laughs> we looked towards portfolio diversification, satellites, ships, this thing called the movies. Such Renaissance men we had become. All of these together combined to form our current industry. But so I pause the tale of what we knew as Luxembourg and look forward towards the future of what Luxembourg will be. I am told that we are on the front lines of this new realm called space, whatever that may be. I'm told that we're to send our miners to the stars in this new ship called a rocket, where we will find riches to be found and discoveries to be made. We are on the front lines of space and technology. It's greater than I ever could have dreamed of. And speaking of travel, to space or otherwise, I hear that public transportation in Luxembourg is free. <laughs> Let me tell you, I took the subway to get here. I was 15 minutes late, and it was certainly not free. <laughs> With these pioneering fronts that we have, I am proud to say that I see the spirit of freedom that I fought for alive and well today. 
Sorry, this is very good. <laughs> this is very good. The spirit of freedom is so alive and well today, and it is visible within the people of Luxembourg, both abroad and at home. I could not have dreamed of it better myself. And I believe that we are going to the stars. And now, while there is a great feast prepared in there, I personally must bid you good night, as I have tickets to see something called Hamilton tonight. <laughs> and according to this talking brick, my Uber should be here forthwith. So, I bid you all good night, and I will see you in the stars. Yeah. <laughs>